Welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series. Uh, today's chapter will be regarding defining a variable either privately or publicly. So without wasting any time, let's jump down to the developers tab and Visual Basic. Now as a part of our demonstration, um, firstly um, before explaining why we need to define a variable as private or a public variable um, let me show you an example so for example if I define a variable inside a procedure um, if I say um, message if I say I equal to 5 message box I this would work just fine however if I were to call some other procedure for example I'm calling this procedure now and if I say message box I what I would want is the same result 5 to come down to this procedure as well so this is the first procedure now the moment it comes down to the second procedure it says that a variable not defined the reason why this comes up is basically because um, we've only defined this variable within a procedure and not for the entire module so in such situations you may want to define a variable as a private variable what this would do is this would allow each and every procedure within this module to have an access to that variables value so let's take an example let's say private test as integer now in the same example if I were to change the value of test equal to 5 and if I were to say message box test and if I were to call the same function once again this would this would first give me a message box of test 5 and then again it would give me a message box of test 5 unlike previously where it gave me an error let us click OK and check so as you can see by defining a variable as a private variable the entire module has an access to its, um, its value now the downside to a private variable is if I were to call a function of a procedure that is not a part of this module but some other modules for example I'm calling a procedure test variable 3 which is set up in module number 2 unlike the previous example both, this, both the procedures were set up in module 3 now in test variable 3 if I say message box test so now let's call this procedure again and see what happens so the first one worked the second one worked again which is in the same module now the moment we come out of that module to a different module which is module 2 it again gives us an error stating that variable not defined so to tackle such situations what you may want to do is you may want to define a variable as a public variable so let's say public test new as integer now let's try the same example again where we say um, test new equal to 5 message box test new and even here let's do it this way now let's call this function once again now the function has first run from module 3 the first procedure which returns 5 the second procedure again from module 3 returns 5 now unlike previously where we call a function from a different module which will happen once I click on OK it will not give us an error and again it's given us the same result which is 5 so a public variable actually helps us share that variable with all the present all, the, all present modules and private modules and pretty much everything so um, this is what basically private and public variables are used for even though it is not the best practice to completely depend on public and private variables as they may suck up a lot of space a lot of storage space and memory but anyways guys um, thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more to come